Hi kids, welcome back for another episode. Today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, sublimation. What is sublimation? It is the transition of a substance directly from a solid to a gas state without passing through the liquid state. Otherwise, what the Harvest Right freeze dryer system does on every batch. So, let's explain how the freeze drying computer determines the temperature when it is ready to pull out and when to disengage the heating elements. So what we have here is on the vertical the Militor scale of 0 to 1000 which you'll never get to 0 and on the time scale horizontally from 0 to whenever the computer determines it is safe to stop the machine. So Pre-programmed into the Harvest Right system is a 600 Militor ceiling and a 500 Militor floor. In another video, I'm going to show you how you can change those variables. So what ends up happening is as the system begins to begin its process, it drops the Militor down to under 500, then turns on the heater, hits 600, turns off the heater, and the cycle begins until there is very little variation. variation and then eventually goes into the final dry stage. Now you'll notice that the line goes below the 500 Militor range and that's because in the final dry stage it's not really computing anymore it's just trying to get to a standard 10 hours um, final dry and then you can pull out your product. So let's review this chart shall we? Now what you're going to see here is a red arrow approaching the valley of the first cycle. What ends up happening is the Militors are going to go under 500 and then the heaters are going to turn on. And then the Militors are going to rise as it leaves the valley. Now as it hits the next peak, the heaters are going to turn off and then begin to cool the product again turning into another valley under 500 Militor. And then the cycle will repeat until the onboard computer determines that the variation between cycling between 500 and 600 Militor turning on and off the heaters has no longer any major change in the density of the water within the product. AKA sublimation has run its course. Now what you will see is the computer will then turn on the heaters at your preset settings that you have predetermined and then let it dry as much as possible. Now the computer will have a very tough time distinguishing how much is left but you remember this is a mass produced device therefore you know it tries its best. So your density of water may completely dry out in the last stages in your drying stage but that is what the computer is going to determine. So now let me show you how the system works and why. So what we're going to do is I'm going to write down what is the five stages of matter and controversially the sixth stage of matter. Some of you are only aware of the first three and are not aware of their advances in science. Well, you know, hey, can't help you there. So the first stage of matter is a solid, the second stage is a liquid, third stage is a gas, fourth stage is plasma, and the fifth stage is a quantum state. Now, there's a sixth state, which some people argue called antimatter, but it truly has no bearing on what we're going to do here. So the fourth and fifth state are all, and even the sixth, if you're understanding what it means, really don't apply here. So let me explain the three stages of matter, which apply to the Harvest Right freeze dryer system. The two big ones are the solid and the gaseous state. Now what happens is that when you take your product and freeze it, you turn it into a solid, of course. Well, during this process, it makes sure that all the liquids are absolutely freezing. That's why you pre-freeze or you want to abuse your freeze dryer, you know, start it and then you start freezing it in there. So what ends up happening is that you load up your trays, you load up your, your product, and then you start the freeze drying process. Now the solid state is going to remain as long as the liquid is below its freezing point 
in water it's zero degrees Celsius or 30 degrees freedom units or Fahrenheit whatever side of the planet you're on how it achieves that is by removing the atmosphere within the chamber where you have loaded the food and then slowly raising the temperature and removing as much atmosphere as possible allowing the process known as sublimation to occur. So how does the Harvest Right freeze dryer system do it? Like magnets? How do they work? So let's explain it. So what we basically have here is the tube. The door, the major tube where you load your product, the you know drain valve, etc. of course closed. Now what ends up happening is that there's a series of tubes surrounding the tube and that is where your coolant uh, and your refrigeration occurs. So what ends up happening is that you'll never get to zero millitor on your tubes. And the reason why is you can't extract all the oxygen, all the atmosphere. It's just not going to happen. So here's the tray. You load up your food, blah, blah, blah. Now as the atmosphere is removed and the heating elements are engaged, the water skips over the solid stage directly into a gaseous. Now as you can see those little squiggles are the water adhering to the cold, ice cold, sub-freezing temperatures of the inner tube of the Harvest Right freeze drying system. Now with the magic of post editing I am going to correct my inability to spell. Thank you public high school now I thank you for watching another one of my great videos and I hope you have a slightly better understanding on how the Harvest Right freeze dryer system works.